Yeah, we're we'll sticking with this new kind of camera angle. The only thing is, I don't really know where to look. Like, I don't really want to just be like staring straight down the lens, it's like straight into your soul. Basically, today I'm going to be showing you how I find all the stuff that I sample and how ridiculously easy it is. Loki going to inspire by Chinks' new song. I want to go try and make some kind of like vocal kind of melody like that. But before we get into all the sauce, you already know, man, smash the like button. My phone nearly just fell over. By the way, I'm using my phone to record this. Shout out iPhone 11 quality. Smash the like button, man, to be blessed by the placement gods. And over the last few days, we have gained a couple hundred extra subscribers. So if you are new around here, what's happening? And if you still ain't hit the subscribe button, now's your chance before it's Late. Also, it's actually my birthday tomorrow. I'm probably gonna be streaming for most of the day on Twitch tomorrow. I'm gonna be drinking. It's gonna be lit. So come true if you wanna. <laughs> and you know what? If every person that watched this video sent me one dollar on PayPal, I'd be a rich boy for my birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a PayPal me link. Top of the description, yeah. If anyone's feeling blessed, feel free. It's more than likely gonna go towards my new PC anyway. Let me show you the sauce of sampling. Where people are like, how do you find these samples? Where do I get them? What do I search on YouTube? Wanna look for OSTs, original soundtracks. This could be for movies, TV shows, games, animes, all of that kind of shit. Shit. Dude, I do the most personally are movies and games. Just like think of any game that you've played in the past, set way back with like dragons, all that kind of fantasy type shit. Or for example, today I wanted a vocal. I was like, all right, let me think of some kind of like Greek mythology kind of shit. Then I started thinking a little bit more Egypt. And then blam, all of a sudden we're looking at the rock in the Scorpion King. <laughs> Search Scorpion King OST. And normally, once you search an OST, you will find like a playlist of all the songs that were in them. Then you just wanted to search through all the original soundtracks until you eventually find something that you want to use. Next thing you want to do, convert it to MP3. Once you have it to MP3, then you want to come into FL Studio. And for me personally, today we're going to use Serato Sampler, but obviously you can try to chop it manually if you want. You can put it to Fruity Slicer, whatever you want to do with it. Once you drag a sample into Serato Sampler, all you want to hit is find samples. And you have everything just playable down here. So we're going to start. By the way, we're in 144 BPM. Ooh, that slides across so smooth. Might even just... See, when it comes to the end of the four bar though, you always kind of want to change up a little bit. So I think for the last note, we're going to maybe bring it up. Maybe that one. At the end of the eight, we might just change it up even more. Ooh, that one there could be nasty. All right, we have it rendered out. I threw on some stereo enhancer onto it. Put an EQ, cutting all that low bass that was in it. Also put on some Valhalla Vintage Verb. This is something that I don't normally do for vocals, but I've been putting crystallizer on absolutely everything, so I've just thrown it on. I think I kind of want to pitch it. I think that's sounding hard. All right, so one thing you can do to combat these loops from getting hella repetitive. I've just layered the exact same melody. I've pitched it up 12 semitones. I've put it on a different mixer track where I'm making it a little bit more wide. I've put an EQ on it like this. So like in certain parts of the hook, you can have like this layered kind of over it. And then obviously when arranging, you can bring in like half times, shit like that as well. Just so you're always like kind of, kind of keeping the melody a little bit fresh at times. For this video, we're actually going to use a lot of the sounds that are coming from my newest drum kit. I don't have a name for it yet. If anyone's got any drum kit names, put them in the description. I might pick it. Drum kit is coming very soon. It is nearly finished. I'm happy with a lot of the sounds in it. I'm going to actually get rid of them and leave a lot more space in it. Do something kind of like that. Put in these notes, but... Turn the velocities down. Yeah, something like that. So for these notes that I have highlighted, I've just panned them left and right because they're a lower velocity. These two. All right, again, we're going to take one of my new counter snares and I think we might try like layer more of like an off rhythm kind of bounce. Yeah, something kind of weird like that. Next, you already know, man loves layering, so we're taking another counter snare. I think I'm on every single red counter snare. I think I'm just going to layer another one. It's pretty... You can't really hear it that well, but we're using the chingy snare. This is probably one of my favorite snares that I've made.
Oh, and once again, what we're doing, we're layering. And guess what snare we're using? We're using the layer me snare. We're actually going to put this one on the red. That's missing. And on that one. And at the end. All right, and I can literally hear the this day away on this. So we are actually going to use the this day away for this beat. One thing that's kind of weird when I'm using the this day away, I actually like to, I actually like to leave the envelope on a normal and I just like to put in notes like this. For some reason, I don't usually slide the, the this day away. I just place in notes. I don't know why. I remember I seen Hayes, the producer, doing it time ago. Oh. I think I want like stabs or something at the end. So, where am I going? Thanks, so that's hard. I've also put in a muted note here because I'm gonna put in like a kick and then it's gonna like act kind of like it's a heavy side chain. See, it's like a, it's like an axe is like heavy side chain. I kind of fuck with it. I feel like I need something to kind of like up the pace of the beat like overall. So I'm going to take an open hat and I'm going to play it at the start of every single red bar. I'm going to bring the velocity down as well like this. You can do this kind of technique for a lot of things, not just open hats. You can use like perks at the start of every red. the beat as you can tell at the very bottom i have added in the half time like i said at the very start to kind of help transitions and shit one thing i do want to say i post all my finished beats all my beats that i make i put them all on my second channel as well i don't know where that is it's gonna be linked in the description it's linked on my channel you can see that we're automating half time in and then fading it straight back out And then for this second part, we're bringing in the, the layered melody that's up an octave. And we're also bringing in the open hat. Like I said, the open hat just adds that extra little bit of something. <laughs> Crazy. Those two feels... These two feels back to back are crazy. Now we've put out an even more chilled part. I probably should have added like a sub bass again into this. I didn't, but there probably should be a sub bass here. I brought in half time. And straight back into it. Also gonna put this FLP on my Patreon for all you man. But yeah, if you've made this far in the video and you haven't left a like yet, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button. Yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. We're gonna get lit on Twitch. So make sure you follow me on Twitch. Make sure you're there, you're ready. And like I said, you know what I'm saying? The PayPal.me thing in the description as well if anyone wants to bless me. But yeah, run me up on Instagram and Twitch because they're the only two things I care about. I'm out. Good luck. See you later.